Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and this time I will show you guys 25 iPad tips and tricks that every iPad user should know. These are tips and tricks that will make your life easier using your iPad on iPad OS 13. Hopefully you will learn something new from this video. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy it. Starting off with the first one. On iPad OS 13, when you take a screenshot, of course, you will get the toolbar right there. Now you can move the toolbar anywhere you want on the screen. So you can move it from there to here, or you can even place it on the side here. That's really, really awesome. Now you can also minimize that. So if I go ahead and place it here, you can see that I can just drag it like this to minimize it and I can place it right there on the corner. And of course I can move it like this anywhere I want on the screen. Now I notice that right there, it will show me a preview of the tool that I have currently selected. So if I select another one and then minimize it, you can see that will change. Whenever you're browsing on Safari and you have a bunch of tabs open, you can pinch in like this with three fingers to go to this view of all the tabs. Now this will work with the landscape mode and the portrait mode as well. So all you gotta do is just pinch in with three fingers to see your full tabs that you have opened. Also from here, you will be able to force touch on one of the tabs and it will give you this little menu which allows you to close all the other tabs, but that one that you have 3D touched on it or also rearrange the tabs by website or by title. You can also drag any one of these tabs directly from the tab view to the split screen mode or make it a card. So basically just drag it like this and you can place it here on the side and make a split view or you can place it like this right here and turn that into an app card. From here you can also close the app. So this doesn't work just on Safari, it will work on all the apps on the iPad instead of using three fingers, which we use to go to the tabs view. Now you can use four fingers to close the app. So just just like that, you will be able to close the app. Now you can use the same gesture to close the app and go to the app switcher. So instead of just doing like this to close the app, just quickly pinching in with four fingers, you can pinch and hold here and it will take you to the app switcher where you will see all the apps that you have opened in the background. You might not know, but you can use the picture in picture feature that the iPad offers even on YouTube on Safari. So you play a video here, all you gotta do to enable that is go to the full screen mode. So once you go to the full screen mode, you will get that button right there, which will take you to the picture in picture mode. So if you go out of here, you will have, of course, the video playing right there. And another feature is that you can resize this so you can make it small like that, or you can make it bigger. And of course you can hide it on the side and show it again like that. When you make this bigger, so anytime you open an app or something, you're doing something and this is interfering you, you can just double tap to make it small again. Now, one of the biggest new features of the iPad are of course the cards, app cards, which allow you to basically use any apps just like you use them on your iPhone on your iPad. So you have like an app full open here on full screen. You can go ahead and just drag any other one right there and turn that into an app card. And you can see that view right there, which looks like similar to the ones that we get on the iPhone. So you will have the bar right here, like is like the home bar on the iPhone. And if you swipe like this, you will be able to switch between different apps that you have opened on the card. So you will notice here on the cards, there are like two bars, one at the top, one at the bottom. This one at the bottom will act just like the one on the iPhones without a home button. So basically this is the home bar, which allows you to switch between apps. Also, you can swipe here to go to the app switcher. That's really, really cool as well. And also you will have like the stop bar right there, which allows you to basically move the cards anywhere you want on the screen. Once you want to hide them, just slide them like this. Once you need them, once again, just slide like this. Now, if you're on the notes app, you will have a list of your notes right here on the left side. Now you have notes open here. So let's say I have this note and I'm interested in this one as well. I can go ahead and open both at the same time. Now, what I need to do here is just tap right here, like 3D touch and drag this 
to the side right here and I can have both of them opened in the same time. I can open this note as on the split screen or I can open it as an app card. Now this feature I'm about to show you is really really cool. So you're on an app and you get a notification. Now what you can do with iPad OS 13 is that now it allows you to basically drag any notification into the split view or into a card. So once you get any like email or you get like a message like this one right here, all you gotta do is just force touch on that notification and drag it right here. As you can see now, I can turn this into an app card or I can bring it right here and basically put it on the split view and I can open this email without having to worry about the other app. One cool new feature on iPad OS 13 is the ability to use the keyboard with one hand. So you can see right here, let me just show the keyboard. Okay, so this is the keyboard. Of course, you cannot use this with one hand unless you have your iPhone lying on the table like this. But with iPad OS 13, now you can just swipe in with two fingers like this and you will be able to turn it into, the, into this small floating keyboard. Now, not only will you be able to use this with one hand, you will also be able to drag it anywhere you want on the screen. So in whichever position you're holding your iPad, you will be able to drag it anywhere you want. Now, once you're done with this, you want to bring back the big old keyboard. All you got to do is just swipe out like this and you will get the big iPad keyboard. On your iPad, you can of course open two apps at the same time on the split view, or you can open an app and another one on the like app cards. But what if you want to have three apps opened at the same time? So two right here on the split view and another one on a card. Let's just try that. So what you gotta do here is just drag the app. And as you can see, if I drag it right here, it will replace the notes app. If I drag it here, it will replace the Safari app. What I need to do here is just place it right in the middle right here. So you will notice that black box, how it will become a bit smaller, just release it and it will turn that into an app card. So now you will have the ability to have three apps opened at the same time. Now, one of the weird things that Apple does is not putting a calculator app on the iPad. We have one on the Apple Watch, why not on the iPad? But you don't need to have a calculator. You don't need to install one from the App Store. You can do all the calculations directly from the Spotlight Search. So open the Spotlight Search, just basically type any number that you want right here and you can go ahead and oops and calculate anything that you want right here and of course you will see the result immediately now when you're searching for something on the spotlight search on ipad os 13 you will have the ability to peek at the results that spotlight will give you without opening them so here i have all the stuff that it has found so i can go ahead and 3d touch on it and i can peek into that so that's really really awesome you can see right here all the results just 3d touch on them and you will be able to preview them directly from the spotlight search on the notes app you will have a list of your notes right here but if you swipe down it will show you that bar right there where you can sort your notes or you can go to the gallery view and this is really really awesome so the gallery view for the notes app it looks really cool you can rearrange your notes based on different criteria right there or you can make the basically the thumbnails of the notes here bigger or smaller using that slider at the top of the notes app you can also change the files view on the files app just go to one of your folders and drag down like this and it will show you that bar right there it gives you the option to create a new folder and also right here you can rearrange your files based on size date name and all that and then you will have different views which you can use like you have the gallery view you have this list view right here with all the details and then you have this other one right here which look really really awesome so you will have a bunch of like different layouts that you can choose for your files app on the files app if you want to select files you can do that quickly simply by tapping with two fingers on one of the files you don't have to tap select right there at the top just tap with two fingers on a file and then you can just drag your two fingers to select all the files you want you can easily move files on the files app simply by dragging them so here i have this file i can go ahead and drag it and place it right there on the downloads app so i don't need like to cut it or copy it and go into the folder paste it just tap and drag it into the folder. 
Now, a really, really cool way to organize your files is using tags. So you will see tags right here. If I tap on one of them, it should show me the files that I have with that tag, but currently I don't have one. So let's just go right here and just tag a file here, just like a, a random file. Let's put a tag on this one. So let's put this one, the red test right there. So now if I press right here, you can see that it will show me that file immediately. Right here, I don't have anything. Tap right there, it shows me that file. So you can organize and basically easier find your files using tags on the Files app. With iPad OS 13, Apple has added a new feature to the dock. Now, of course, you will have your favorite apps and your recent apps, but what if you want to remove any of the recent apps from the dock? Just 3D touch on the app, and all you gotta do is just tap right there, hide the app. Now, of course, there is a very cool feature on iOS when you can like 3D touch or basically just tap and hold the space bar to move the cursor anywhere you want on a text. But with iPad OS 13, all you gotta do is just tap with two fingers on the screen where you have the cursor and you will be able to move it anywhere you want on the tech. There is a really cool feature on the clock app as well. So you will have the world clock right here. So we will have a bunch of different cities from around the world. What if you want to rearrange them? All you got to do is just force touch on any of them and you can just basically drag it and place it anywhere you want on the row of the world clock. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 25 tips and tricks that every iPad owner should know these will make your life easier using your ipad and of course will help you perform a lot of things things better and faster on your ipad again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one